Hello everyone, I'm happy to be back with another reaction, and this time it is time for some Bjerk. And I'm pretty sure that is the exact way you pronounce her name. I've read comments, I've done my research, Bjerk. Bjerk, it rhymes with jerk, so and not Bjork, which I have tried to get out of my mind even when I've been thinking about it. Bjerk, her album, Medulla. I'm sure I said that wrong, so that'll be another lesson for me to learn. Came out in 2004, so it is part of the 2000s. However, you guys have all said there's no lyrics, it's all just voice stuff. So I'm super keen to get into it, super keen to see where we're going with this little Bjork journey. I mean, I'm not surprised that she's done an album like this. She is such an incredible artist, such a pioneer, such a trailblazer. I'm so keen to see where she's gone with this one. I'm just nervous as well, because I'm like, God, I hope I like it. Oh my God, I think we're definitely gonna need one. I can't even, jeez, I can't even open that. <sighs> one. Need a Red Bull, that is for sure. I'm scared, I need to hype myself up, I need to prepare. She's looking quite angry on the album cover. She's actually giving me like um, Amy Lee vibes from Evanescence. Medulla on her necklace. Medulla, I'm gonna go with. Let me know down below. Bjork, Bjork, Bjork. I'm so glad I can finally say her name correctly. <laughs> oh my god. Right, the first song is called Pleasure Is All Mine. Let's go. Oh, there is the lyrics. But if, oh, maybe all the backings vocals they meant. Okay, it's just gonna be intense already. <laughs> That is insane. That's so interesting. I think if I didn't know what I knew, knowing going into it that it is all voices, because it's, it's quite convincing that it's instruments, other than like the breathing and the kind of weird little noise that she's doing. Love it, no idea what it's about. Maybe, yeah, some, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, I was quite focused on the, <laughs> like the voice production and just how nice it was. It sounded like there was like a bunch of dude choir singers from church. So nice, something about, yeah, pleasure of being gracious, but also letting go, women like me. Super weird, super keen that I'm liking this already. I'm actually, yeah, if this is, kind of going the same way it's going it's actually might be one of my favorites so i'm kind of keen for this the next song is called show me forgiveness let's go She's not for. She de <coughs> definitely not known for short songs. I guess a little interlude there. Show me forgiveness, and the girl might live. Is she talking about herself, or is she kept someone captive? I don't know. What the hell, Burke? 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 Okay, maybe this is gonna get a lot weirder. I definitely need the heads up there. The next song is called Where Is the Line. Let's go. Where is the line with you? Where is the Ooh. line? With you. Where is the line?
like them and words are so repetitive, so you can work your job. song i definitely think the most repetitive she's ever done which is so cool like i said I, how it's your she's saying the same thing so you don't need to focus too much on the lyrics so then the production like the production the voice stuff really shines out you're just gonna get lost in it definitely I, so many images were flashing like there was this like evil church people were running through like this like just the soundtrack to that kind of really epic moment within a movie i've said it many times she should be doing scores but just wow that was sick i really like that i think it's my favorite song on the album it was really cool really different just so bizarre to get your head around that it's not instruments i think that's the coolest part about it it's just what the fuck the next song is called vakuro maybe you know me let's go she loves all this creepy stuff yeah, is this gibberish or is this real because she tricks me all the time <laughs> lyrics when it's just done so well I love that oh my god it's so holy sound I'm trying I can't think of the word gospel is just what I'm saying but just I think like traditional Catholic Church sound that's just kind of what I'm getting from it the whole album it sounds super cohesive which is so funny because I swear a lot of people were like oh be prepared for it you might not like it but I actually think this is my favorite album so far out of all of them <laughs> Homogenic is still pretty up there, to be fair. This is just really nice. It just sounds the most cohesive to me at the moment. We're only a few songs in, so, you know, anything can change with her. Let's just see where we go. The next song's called Old Bertan. Sounds like it could be like Old Britain. I don't know. Let's see where we go with this. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Little interlude again. This is sick. It's like she in the studio having, I have any voices can I do? there's no lyrics I don't even know what the song's called loved it though loved hearing all those different types of voices she really got to showcase her vocals within that I just could I just would have loved to have seen her just filming it because you could just tell she would just be going off in the studio love it nice little interlude it's just nice it's just nice to listen to it's so just I don't know maybe because it is similar to like pianos and strings kind of sounding that kind of nice sound maybe that's why I'm I guess responding to it so well I just really like it number six is here favorite number what is it gonna give us on this album Album. Is it gonna give us the best song? Oh Jesus, it is a long title. Who is it? Carry my jaw on the left, carry my pain on the right. What the hell are we gonna get here? Let's go. Ooh, it's super quiet. Number 
thing's coming from the ground. Do a face for me. Is that a voice that I am? Hey, I love this chorus coming up. How much they edit the voices and I suppose because they are voices they can't really give the a super impactful bass beat that you know production can on you know whether it's an actual instrument or digitalized I just think that song with a uh, backing of instruments and sheer would be fucking epic it is super cool with their voices I just think that song because of how it just lands with you I think that would be so epic I'd love for that to be I was gonna say a proper song but you know a song with backing with instruments and production that isn't voices but I do wonder if they just can't get it to that extreme because they don't want to edit it too much otherwise it defeats the purpose of it being voices so super interesting there how it is that really coolness but it, I guess it can't always give you that impact that you need on certain songs I don't know, let me know below. I don't have no idea about that stuff. It's just kind of what I'm thinking with it. Definitely my favorite song on the album. I love that, that who has had a sliding in, getting you to drive it. I loved it. That was sick. That was really cool. Just sounded the coolest as well. I love that. Number six, never letting me down. What's new there? Actually, sometimes it does, but you know, we won't go there. The next song is called Submarine. Let's go. Hey, he was like, I'll give you bass, mate. It's like I'm playing like... They just gave it to me on that song. Wow, that was sick. I love that. I loved her coming in the end and just speaking what she spoke. She was doing some weird stuff down there. She's like, blah, 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 or something. She actually gave me things of uh, Katya and RuPaul when she was Björk, uh, which made no sense to me because I didn't know who she was and now it actually it makes perfect sense. Loved it, loved it, loved it. One of the best. The next song is called Desired Constellation. Let's go. Like, that's surely not a voice. That's got to be an instrument, right? I like the sound, though. It's tricky when underneath. I love that it's sounding. How am I going to make it right? Oh. <laughs> make it right. I love that, like, almost like fire crackle noise. It's true. I love this one. 
just I totally forgot it was there, but it's always been there the whole song. Just wanna hear her say, how am I gonna make it right over and over again? Just with that, it's so nice. Definitely is a song that gets you thinking. I really love this album. This is absolutely my favorite album of her. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best album for me. It just sounds so cohesive, so nice. I love just her voice. It's probably the strongest out of the albums that I've heard. Absolutely, it just sounds so nice. And they, even though the songs are a bit random, they actually kind of make sense a bit more, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm just in a weird little trance with her now, but I'm just vibing this so badly, I love it. The next song is called Oceana. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> what? My sad. Is she the earth? <laughs> Interesting album cover, it's definitely quite sexy and BDMS, is that it? BD, a, uh, the sexy set, like the S&M thing. I don't know if it suits the album, it definitely gives you off a different vibe. The album's just so fun and carefree, I feel like we're in a different universe. That was so fun, you could have like these stingrays flying, it would just be such a colour pop little video if she ever did one, I don't know if she has done one. What was the song? So, was it Submar- oh my god, I'm like so lost. What did I just listen to? Oceana. Did I listen to- I thought I listened to Submarine before- okay, I'm going mad. During that song, I was like, I really wish I could- maybe it was Desire Conversation. I don't know, the song before this was really good. Oceana, that was the song- I, oh my god. That was sick, I really like the song. I don't know where the hell I'm at right now. <laughs> These are sick though, this is my favourite album. I'm calling it, I called it already, I'm calling it again. This is absolutely my favourite album by her. The next song is called Sonnets slash Unrealities XI. Is that six, I think? No, I don't know. I'm not regular at Roman numerals. <laughs> Let's go. It may not always be so Ooh. Touch another's And your tears to another's face oh, like Your sweet song. LA Also with E.E. E. Cummings, is that a writer? I don't know, that just really sounds familiar to me and it says sonnet, so interesting. Weird, yeah, definitely sounds like she's letting go of something, allowing her partner to now move on. She's kind of giving their blessing. Really sad song, definitely feels like an ending song as well. So yeah, it's, I like how there's some interludes in here. The song lengths are different, it kind of keeps you on your toes with her because a lot of hers are quite long usually. Yeah, this is sick. The next song is called Ancestors. Let's go. Piano. Okay, that's an instrument. Is that her snoring? <laughs> okay, this is Absolutely insane. Uh. 
so well. <laughs> <laughs> There's lyrics, but I don't know where they were in the song. That is absolutely one of the best songs on the album. Ancestors, did I say that was a song? I don't even know where I am anymore. Love that, that showcased the vocal usage so well. That was insane how different it was. I wonder if they're all her voices or if you know, she's got a few people in. But I just think recording that would have been so intense on, you know, when you like go, <laughs> you start to get like out of breath or like get dizzy within your head. So it'd be interesting to see if she kind of trained for it or if she just naturally, you know, that talented. That was sick. I love that. The lyrics were there. I don't know where she sung on. That was sick. So full on at some points and then it stripped it back and then it brought it back and then it was delicate and then it was scary. That was a really sick song. Absolutely insane. I've never heard anything like that before. How was she doing this in 2004? Like what the hell? Even that feels like ages ago and just this feels still so fresh. It's insane. It's insane. It's so insane. The next it's called Mouth's Cradle. Let's go. Ooh. I love those chants. I like what? Like, that's some chickadee breathing in here. favorite song on the album I didn't really connect with it super weird and super yeah the lyrics there was a lot of lyrics in there I was like what are we singing about totally fine that that's the only song that I haven't liked so far and uh, you know when you say you don't like you can still appreciate all the amazing stuff in it I just didn't kind of I guess get into it yeah really weird though I'd love to know what that's about maybe I was trying to analyze it too much that I forgot to I guess just embrace it I don't know the next song I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing is called Midvik Kudags possibly <laughs> let's go Interlude. <laughs> yeah, just nice. What? Yeah, I'm kind of just, yeah, I'm, I think Mouth Cradles really threw me. I'm like, God, where am I now? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just keep going with it. We're the last song. It's time to wrap up this absolutely beyond iconic epic album. It's called Triumph of a Heart. Let's go. Oh, sounds like some fucking. Oh, are we going out with a bang? Oh, Ooh, that little on the beat. This is fucking delicious. I don't even know what she's saying. I'm just vibing. Yes. I love that. Such a yeah, awesome way to start how you just have fun with it all. Oh, that's sick, that Ended. Probably the danciest, poppiest little number out of it. So I guess it's nice to kind of end it like that. Really, I think the last three songs were a bit weird to me in terms of cohesivity. I guess maybe not as cohesive, which is fine. I guess, yeah, Mouth Cradle really threw me. I was like, what the hell? That really just, I guess, threw me out of what I was in. And then whatever the next song was called, that was just a nice weird little interlude. And then we go into this little dance number. Favorite song, Who Is It? Submarine, Desired Constellation, Oceana. Those four were absolutely some of the best. God, it's hard now to even remember 
what the hell these all were because you just get so much information with her stuff. Absolutely one of my favorite albums though by her. I loved it. I just loved how interesting and different it was. I loved where you could tune into some of the voices and then you're like, whoa, is this actually a voice or an instrument? I don't know if that piano was really in there. Let me know down below. I need all the information on this album. How did she do it? How many people were involved? If that was all her, I would just be like, no, I do not believe that that is impossible. However, anything is possible with her because she's absolutely an iconic person. Oh my God. What an album. Jesus. I just have no words other than it was just so amazing. I loved how different it was. I love that I've experienced something that I've never experienced before. I love how they just created all these songs with voices. It's absolutely insane. I'm so glad I knew going into it so you could appreciate it so much more. I mean, I definitely would have picked up on some of the beatboxing, but I wouldn't have thought the whole album was done with voices. It's so incredible. The voice on it was the best I've ever heard. She had so many amazing high notes, long notes, just growls. Oh my God, that weird song where she was going up blah, 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 like that waking up song where she was like, awesome. So good. What do you guys think? What do you think of the album? Is it one of your favorites? Is it your least favorite? I'd love to know. Let me know down below. Oh my God, I can't wait to hear what you're all going to say about this album. I'm so excited. The full on cut that is on Patreon. Link is down below. I'm on Instagram at Grippin. Hit subscribe and like if you want to see more. And do we want to see more Bjork? Do I need to continue? Hope you're having a great day, everyone. I'm going to have a great day, Ryan. Ben is going to go.